So in the integral na sine raised to a power times cosine raised to a power, if both powers are given, iba na yung magiging approach natin. Kailangan natin mag sa ibang trigonometric identities. Like this one, sine squared x equals 1 half times 1 minus cosine 2x, or cosine squared x is equal to 1 half times the quantity 1 plus cosine 2x. So in the next example, we'll see kung paano siya gamitin at, at bakit hindi tayo makakapag-straight na substitution lang. Now for the case na parehong even yung powers ng sine and cosine sa integral ng sine raised to a power times cosine raised to a power, may example na gusto kong gamitin ay ito, integral of sine x raised to 4 times cosine x raised to the 6th power. Note that we'll take advantage of several trigonometric identities here, so i-flash ko na lang sila pag kailangan natin sila. So yung gusto natin gawin ay magkaroon ng factor na sine to a power of x times cosine to a power of x where the powers are equal. So here, mas mataas yung power ng cosine by 2. So isusulat ko siya as the integral of cosine squared x times the quantity sine of x to the 4th power times cosine x to the 4th power. Ginagawa natin to para magkaroon tayong expression na sine x cosine x na pwede natin ilabas yung power nila na pareho, raised to the 4th power. We'll also take advantage of a couple of trigonometric identities, namely na si cosine squared u ay equal sa 1 half times 1 plus cosine 2u and si sin x cosine x ay equal sa 1 half sin 2x. So we'll continue our solution and rewrite it as follows. This will be the integral of 1 half times 1 plus cosine 2x for the blue part. And for the yellow part, susulat natin siya as 1 half sin 2x raised to the quantity na 4 or to the 4th power. Now, para hindi tayo masyadong malugmok no, dun sa mga constants, what we'll do is take them out of the integral, yung mga 1 half na yan. So may isa akong 1 half na nandun sa kulay blue, tapos yung 1 half dun sa yellow, it's raised to the 4th power. So in total, meron tayong 1 half raised to the 5th power or 1 over 32. So labas natin siya. So this is equal to 1 over 32 times the integral of 1 plus cosine 2x. Now yung sine 2x na matitira dun sa dilaw, isusulat ko siya as sine squared 2x quantity squared. We're doing this so we could take advantage of the identity na ang sine squared u ay equal sa 1 half times the quantity 1 minus cosine to u. That means, for our next step, isusulat ko na siya as, oh, so yung white as, as is, but the part na kulay dilaw will now rewrite this as the quantity 1 minus cosine 4x, syempre times 1 half sa labas, quantity squared, dx. Now, gusto ko na namang ilabas yung 1 half, no? Para hindi tayo masyado maraming coefficient sa loob. So, ilang 1 half yan? Dalawa. Kasi 1 half na ini-square pa natin sa labas. So, magmumultiply tayo ng 1 fourth dun sa 1 over 32 sa labas to give us 1 over 128 times the integral of 1 plus cosine 2x times 1 minus cosine 4x quantity squared, dx. Now, our next step is to expand, no? The binomial na ini-square. So, we'll write it as... Hintayin natin. Okay. Okay, so we'll write it as the 1 over 128 times the integral of the quantity 1 plus cosine 2x times 1 minus 2 cosine 4x plus cosine squared 4x. Notice yung blue na term, it's cosine squared something. Gagamitin na naman natin yung identity natin, no? Na cosine squared u is equal to 1 half times 1 plus cosine 2u. So we'll just keep on using that uh, trigonometric identity. So this is equal to... Uh, 1 over 128 times the integral of the quantity 1 plus cosine 2x times the quantity 1 minus 2 cosine 4x, same as nung nauna. Pero yung cosine squared 4x, now we're rewriting it as 1 half times 1 plus cosine 8x. May factor na naman tayong 1 half na pwede nating ilabas. Pero since siya lang naman yung may factor na 1 half, pag nilabas natin siya, magmumultiply na lang tayo ng 2 dun sa lahat nung nasa parenthesis na may e1. So we'll rewrite this as 1 over 256 times the integral of 1 plus cosine 2x times 2 minus 4 cosine 4x plus 1 plus cosine 8x quantity times dx. Now the next step will be to distribute yung 1 plus cosine 2x but before we do that, we take note na meron tayong like terms, no? yung dun sa second na parenthesis, yung 2 plus 1. So we'll combine that. And while we're combining that, i-highlight ko na with different colors yung 1 plus cosine 2x. Para pag dinistribute natin siya mamaya, masusundan natin kung at some point nakadistribute yung 1, at some point nakadistribute yung cosine 2x. So let's distribute the binomial. Let's multiply. It's still 1 over 256 times the integral of, so 1 muna 
So, 1 times 3 minus 4 cosine 4x plus cosine 8x. So, na-distribute na natin yung 1. Then, we'll distribute si cosine 2x. So, plus 3 cosine 2x minus 4 cosine 2x times cosine 4x plus cosine 2x times cosine 8x. Quantity dx. Yung next na trigonometric identity na gagamitin natin ay yung sum and difference formulas ni cosine and sine. So, here yung cosine yung gagamitin natin. Specifically, we'll use the formula that cosine u times cosine v, this is equal to 1 half times the quantity cosine u minus v plus cosine u plus v. So, we'll apply this formula dun sa terms na cosine 2x cosine 4x saka cosine 2x cosine 8x. This is equal to 1 over 256 times the integral of the quantity 3 plus 3 cosine 2x. So, minamark ko lang kung ano na yung mga naisulat ko na. Minus 4 cosine 4x. So, yung nakamark sa taas na dilaw. Plus cosine 8x. Okay. So, now we're ready to apply the formulas dun sa remaining two terms. no? Okay. Dun muna tayo. Minus 4 times 1 half times cosine 2x plus cosine 6x. So, yung cosine 2x siya yung 4 minus 2. Yung cosine 6x siya yung 4x plus 2x. And for the last term, so this is plus 1 half cosine 6x plus cosine 10x. Yung cosine 6x siya yung cosine 8x minus 2x. Yung cosine 10x siya yung cosine of 8x plus 2x. So may 1 half na naman tayo dito na pwede nating ilabas. So by taking it out, we'll multiply everything by 2. So 1 over 2, 5, 6. O oh, mali, 1 over 5, 1, 2 times the integral of the quantity. Oh, so times 2 lahat. So 6 plus 6 cosine 2x minus 8 cosine 4x plus 2 cosine 8x minus 4 cosine 2x minus 4 cosine 6x plus cosine 6x plus cosine 10x. Notice meron tayong mga konting like terms that we could combine. So combine muna natin sila. Okay? So we'll have 6 plus 2 cosine 2x. Ito yung mga 4x. Minus 8 cosine 4x. Isa lang siya. Ito yung dalawang 6x. Minus 3 cosine 6x plus 2 cosine 8x plus cosine 10x. Uh, dx. So, inarrange lang natin siya na increasing coefficient ni x dun sa argument ni cosine. And then, we could take their antiderivatives. So, tandaan natin yung shortcut natin na if we have the integral of cosine nx, pwede natin siyang isulat na 1 over n times sine nx plus c. Okay. So, we'll just use this shortcut. This is equal to 1 over 5, 1, 2 times the quantity. So, integral muna ni 6. So, 6x. Integral ni 2 cosine 2x, that's 2 times 1 half sine 2x. Then we'll just apply the same no, for the remaining na sine terms. And just use the next step to simplify yung mga factors. Hindi ko nababasahin ha. Plus C yan dapat, kalimutan ko. So, may 1 half, may 1 fourth, may 1 over 10. Ilabas na rin natin lahat nun by multiplying everything by 20 over 20. Yun yung 1. So, final answer will be 1 over 10,240 times the quantity 120x plus 20 times sine 2x minus 40 times sine 4x minus 10 sine 6x plus 5 sine 8x plus 2 sine 10x plus our constant of integration. Yung complexity nung solution niya is above and beyond nung complexity nung solutions na pag yung isa sa kanila or pareho silang odd. So, talagang tatalon yung complexity level ng solutions niya. So, in summary, para ma-evaluate natin yung integral ng sine times cosine, na pareho silang may even powers, we'll have to rely on a bunch of trigonometric identities. Specifically, itong mga ito. So, maganda rin if we're evaluating a bunch of trigonometric integrals, ay siguro either familiar tayo sa mga trigonometric identity or may readily available tayong reference for them. So, that's it for this case. Salamat sa pakikinig.